Hey guys, Silent King here, and here's another video of the live commentary series. Now, I do realize that this isn't really a live commentary series anymore for the main fact that the recording is gone from my hard drive. I do not know what happened to the recording yesterday, like I said, when I went into Audacity to go check out the program, to go check the recording out and put into the video. It unfortunately was gone. I did not touch the recording in any way other than putting into my daily videos. So again, sorry guys, but you just gotta listen to my beautiful voice for, well, the rest of today. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. This is a domination match on Summit from the live session. I get a horrible score, I go 21-21, so it's a, it's a 1 KD, but we do win. I'm not sure really how the match went. It's been a while since this match, obviously. It's been over two weeks, I think. But, nevertheless, we do win the match, and I think that's all that matters in my opinion. What should we talk about today, guys? I didn't have a topic to talk about at all. Basically, I've been playing a lot of Black Ops lately. Black Ops has been really, really fun the past couple of days. I went up like five levels. I was 45, and then I prestiged. So yeah, now I am a prestige level five prestige or six. And I do plan to get to 15th prestige. I stopped playing for about two months. But my goal is to get to 15th prestige by the end of August. I think I can get there by mid-August, actually. If I am... <coughs> sorry. I can probably average prestige in seven hours. So if I tried hard enough tomorrow, I can... Pro by Friday, I can be 7th pre uh, 6th prestige because I am 5th prestige, I know for a fact. So by Friday, by the end of Friday, I can definitely be a 6th prestige. On the weekend, I can get at least two. So that would make me 8th prestige. And then, like I said, if I can, I probably should be 8th Prestige by the end of this weekend, or at least Wednesday next week. My goal is eighth. My goal is ninth Prestige by Thursday. So in a week, I want to go up four Prestiges. I think I can do that pretty easily. Just gotta play a lot of uh, Headquarters. Now I play CTF and go for the flag caps, going for you know basically everything right now. It's been really fun playing CTF again. And I don't really use any other guns besides the MP5K right now. I mean, I've been using the FAMAS a very little bit just because I want to level the playing field. And that's the best way to level the playing field, guys. And I think you would all agree to that. If everybody else is using the FAMAS, use the FAMAS. But seriously, guys, Black Ops, that's been funny. If you guys don't play Black Ops anymore and you still do have it, hop on some CTF. Send me a friend request. We can definitely play a few games because it's been fun for me. And... The more that I have playing with me, probably the more fun I would have overall. So that's Black Ops out of the, out of the way right now. If you, I do have two Black Ops gameplays, or three on my hard drive, two or three, that I'll be posting next week after this live session is over. This is number five. Actually, the first Black Ops gameplay will go up on... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> what day? It'll go up on Friday, guys, so you guys will see it on Saturday, actually. That's when that will go up. Excuse me. So that will go up on Friday. You guys will see it on Saturday. It's a summit match, summit domination match. I go 61 and 10, I think. 61, no, 54 and 10. Yeah, 54 and 10. It's a complete spawn trap. I'm not gonna lie. All I do on the whole entire match, I cap flags. First of all, we get the a, we spawn a a, so we get a b. I take advantage of it. We cap c, and then we go for the b c cap, and we keep them spawn locked at a the whole match. The whole match. And I do get a really, really nice quad feed in there that I'm going to be putting into the montage. Again, if anybody's an editor, please uh, leave your name in the description and I'll be sure to contact you about editing my montage. But more on that, once the montage comes out, guys, I don't have enough clips, perfectly, to be perfectly honest with you guys, yeah. I do have a really nice shotgun streak on the match, uh, on the map Salvage. Not this map. Not this match, of course. But I do get a nice clip, not in this match, <laughs> my aim sucked right there, wow. And that's in the next live session, and I, I'm not sure if I have that recording either, I might have wiped that too. On to the computer topic, I am getting a new computer, the person I'm selling it to has agreed to buy my computer for $1,100. So my budget of a new computer is $1,500. <laughs> yes, uh, $400 more than uh, what I said. <laughs> I can't talk guys, I'm sorry. But yeah, I have $1,500 budget, and I'm probably going to wind up buying the one I was talking about yesterday. It's an Asus computer, it, a terabyte, I found my own guys, by the way, a terabyte of memory, 
It has 8 gigs of RAM. Not the best graphics card. That's one thing I'm thinking about upgrading, but a 23.6 inch HD LED monitor, also by Asus. Asus makes really nice monitors, in my opinion. Some of the best, some of the best looking ones. So that's the computer, it comes with a keyboard, it comes with a mouse, uh, and a wireless printer, which I thought was pretty convenient too. We have a printer, but it's not the best printer in the world. So a nice wireless one would be very nice to have. Other than that, guys, nothing's really been happening in my life too much. I've been doing a lot of classwork for IB. I mean, IB, if you guys don't know what that is, that International Baccalaureate Program. It started in Europe after World War II, it's now come to the States for a while now. It's basically kind of like AP but smaller class sizes and overall just more fun than AP I guess you could say but yes I am in that it's for pretty smart people but though downside to that is it's a lot of summer work I've had to write five papers in the past like two days so it's been a lot of writing I'm still working on the papers right now but I wanted to get this commentary out of the way for you guys because you guys know I love you <laughs> yeah like I said I don't really have much to talk about in this commentary it's not like one that was supposed to happen in the first place but the Phillies game is on. Not that I'm rooting for the Phillies, but they're playing the Giants, and I'm rooting for the Giants because I hate the Phillies, and I love the. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Had a sneeze, and I love the Giants and hate the Phillies. So there's two outs, one out in the bottom of the ninth, two to one, two to one Giants. A lot of moves have been. Ha oh, we can talk about football. Yeah, you know, I don't I haven't brought up football in a while. But the lockouts ended, obviously, guys. You all know that if you like football. Some big free agent signings. Sidney Rice went to the Seahawks. I was kind of shocked about that. I did not expect Sidney Rice to go to the Seahawks. My guess was he was going to re-sign with Minnesota or go to Washington. That didn't happen. But the Redskins have picked up, I think, three or four wideouts. They picked up Jabbar Gaffney. Oh, they picked Stokely and Dante Stallworth. And they also picked up a safety, Josh Wilson. The main reason I know about this actually is because I live in D.C. And uh, they live and breathe Redskins football down here. Not that I like the Redskins in any way. I'm a Jets fan. 100% Jets fan. And speaking of Jets, they signed Santonio Holmes to a five-year, I think it's $50 million deal. So $10 million a year. Their next goal of the Jets is to sign Nam Diaspora. And if you guys know football, and you know the Jets have Revis, and if they can get Asmoa in there too, oh wow, I left C for no reason. <laughs> We should have had a cap. But, like I said, if you guys know football, you know that Osmo is the second best corner in the league behind Revis. And if you can combine Revis and Osmo on the same team, their pass defense would easily be the best in the league and <laughs> be very tough to beat them. I'm hoping they can sign Osmo, guys. <laughs> I really am hoping that. Right now, it's looking like they actually will be able to. Sanchez has restructured his contract. I've heard like four other people are going to restructure their contracts just so they can bring in uh, Osmo. Asmoa, and that would be great overall. Baseball news, Beltran got traded, he's, on, he's a San Francisco Giant right now. I'm very happy about that, like I said I am a Giants fan, and I think Beltran could help our lineup in the long run. He might not be an addition for us next year too much, but for this year he'll definitely help us out. So guys, this commentary is coming to an end. I Sorry I had nothing to talk about, but to recap the video, basically a lot of sports news. I'll cover sports for the rest of the week in my commentaries. Get a new computer, it's an Asus. I'll leave it in the description maybe. And guys, I'll see you tomorrow with probably, hopefully, a better commentary. And this is Alan King signing out. Peace, guys. If you're an editor, leave a, leave a comment. Peace.